So it is amazing how many great songs out there are just three or four chords. So I'm going to spend some time doing a couple of tunes like that that are just three, four chord wonders. And that's, you know, all you need for a hit. Put a capo on the third fret. One, two, three, four. That's going to be how I'm going to refer to the frets. And I'm going to refer to the chords as they would be in an open position. So if I'm doing this, I'm saying G. All right. So anyways, what we're going to do is we're going to start off with kind of a B minor 7-ish chord. Like B minor who? What? It's easy. What we're going to do is pretend you're doing an E minor chord and just skip a string between those two guys. And then pretend, as long as we're pretending that you're going to do a D chord too, and put another second fret down at the E. So we're going to have B or A second fret, D open, G second fret, B open, E second fret. Very cool sounding chord. Now think of the timing as one and two and three and four and one and. So what you can do is on the ands and hit the root note. One and two and three and four and, and that'll kind of simulate the piano, okay? So what we'll do from there is go to a G chord, just typical G, second finger, third fret E, first finger, second fret A. Then we got the third fret of the B and E with our ring and pinky. D and G open. We're going to go to a D chord, second fret, first and second finger, G and E, ring finger, third fret, B, and then a D suspended second. All you got to do is take off your second finger. <laughs> How'd that be? And there you have it. So let's go over that. We're going to do this chord progression four times. One. I just add the down up in between each chord shift. And two and three and four and a one and two and three and four and a one and two, three and four and a one and two and three and four and. You don't have to do that, you can just do all down strokes. So we're going to do that four times. I'll go through it one more time. All right, so three more times and you are at the chorus. All right, so the chorus, here we go. Okay, so that's basically in a nutshell what the chords of the chorus are. The piano does some different chord inversions, but this is the song at its most basic, you know, four chord action song progression. So we're going to hold that G for a count of eight. From there, we're going to go to the D, to the D suspended second, each for a count of four.
after that, so it really goes through that twice, and then we're gonna add two chords at the end. We're gonna add an A. So it just goes second fret D, G, B. Keep this guy open, the E. And then take off your second finger to an A7 chord. And then that's gonna get us out of the chorus. Those are both counts of four. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Back into the verse, but we're gonna do like a little transition. We're gonna play like this. Back into our verse. We're gonna do that four times again, back into another chorus. All right, so now for that outro, you know, we're gonna do this about, uh, I don't know, like 38 times. <laughs> is basically what the outro is. Now again, there's, you know, chord shifts on the piano, but this is, you know, four chord wonder, right? So we're going that B minor seven. One and two and three and four and a one and two and three and four and a one and two and three and four and a two and three and four and a. Now you don't have to go to that D suspended second either. It's kind of like a tension building chords playing off of each other in that outro so you can keep that D and if you got other guys you know, add some tension and people are like ooh I'm just sucked in I gotta sing right <laughs> which is awesome this band is great so that's basically it in a nutshell the four chord wonder alright well maybe five but you know four for the most part